Let me show you how to host Java web application using Elastic Bean in stock. Okay, so let's move in. So I'm using NetBeans as my IDE. Here's my application. The name is DENS. So just type me. First, you have to create an application. So I'm here. I'm going to show you how to host and how to deploy not how to create you can create the application as you want i am using spring mvc to create this application now just click on clean and run it will take a few seconds not too much so yeah it's done Worked successful now look, let's go back to AWS panel. First, you have to log in. If you haven't registered, first register, first register yourself. You just need a debit card or credit card for registration. They will charge you two rupees only, and most of the services are free. If you are hosting a web application, it will cost you thirty-eight rupees for month. Like a free tier will let you sir, use EAC2 and all the other services for you but you have to pay for route 53 what is route 53 I will tell you later so let's start so I will click on services in that services I will use elastic beanstalk ok so, yeah. I actually already hosted an application so if you want to create a if you want to host a new application just click here create new application you have to write the application name whatever like I can use any application name like test description if you want to give okay. I'm just giving it test and nest it will ask you to choose web server environment or worker environment what is web server environment worker environment you can study there is option click learn more but uh, here i'm going to use a web service environment click on web service environment so predefined configuration so i'm going to choose tomcat here because we are making a dynamic we are going to host our dynamic web application load balance auto scaling once you're done with this, just click on next. Now application version. You can upload your file here or you can just choose simple application. Okay. First I am choosing a simple application and I will tell you how you can upload your own file. If you want you can upload now also. Yeah. Let the all settings default do not change. It will ask you so it will ask you about the environment information. It's fine. This will be your URL, uh, at AWS URL, which you are going to use for hosting. Just next, the name is not available. Let's try check availability. No, it is not. Just write anything. Yeah. It is asking you for create an RDS DB instance with this environment. So if you want to uh, attach your web application with the database, you can click or you can just take care of it later. You don't have to take care of it now. Then just click on next. Let's see. Yeah. Security key pair. It will ask you for a security key pair. If you don't have, you can select, you can create one. And then the server type I'm using T2 micro it is a free tire so let's just choose default one T2 micro other stuff just let it be like it then just click on next environment text here you have to write your application name like uh, you can write anything test web like my application name was DEMS can use D D E M S. Sorry. Click next. You don't have to worry about this thing. 
next okay here it asking you about the review all the details you have filled or not it is correct or not okay so just click on launch button because i already created an instance so i don't so i don't have to create it again so let's just cancel it so once you done it will show it will take some time then you will be redirected to this panel and like my application is doctory it will give you your application whatever name you have selected once you done all you have to do is click on upload and deploy choose file here you have to choose your project direct project war file let me see yeah that means the management system target is my war file dems one snapshot just click on open then click on deploy and once you click on deploy it will load it will take some time around the can take up to 5 minutes just wait for it once everything will be done it will show you the green button and everything is okay once everything is done just click on this url so here's my app now the thing is i'm using i, I want to use my domain name instead of this name so what i can do i can redirect my request to the don domain name so let's just see this is my godaddy account if you don't have you can create account you can create any other website you just need to buy a domain so once you buy a domain just see like here i'm using a doctor.co just click on manage so Let's mm, go down. Manage DNS. Yeah. So as you can see, these are name servers. Okay. So this is what you want. So in Amazon for redirecting a request, we use service called Route Fifty Three. Okay. Just click on service Route Fifty Three. as you can see yeah there is already one hosted zone if you want to host a new zone you can just click hosted zone yeah just click a create new hosted zone if you create if you create a new hosted zone it will charge you 0.6 dollar even you are using free tier it is not free actually out of 53 You just have to create a new free hosted zone. Once you done, just click on the hosted zone. As you can see, it's showing four name servers. Okay. So once you create, it will automatically show the four name servers. All you have to do is copy all the servers. Don't forget to remove this dot. You don't need to enter last at. If you can see this ns. Hyphen five zero two dot aws dns hyphen six two dot com. That's all. Don't need to copy the last dot. And just copy all these four name servers and go to GoDaddy account. Just paste it here. Name server. And there so there will be two options only. You can use add name server to add more options. So I use twice to add two more options. Then you can put all four name servers here. Once you're done, just click on save button. That's all. It might take one hour, two hour, and sometimes it take six hours. So don't worry. It will be done after few hours, and maybe it will be done at the correct same time. So it depends on the server and the different. Uh, hosted different domain companies so it took me 4 5 hours to change my dns when it turns when it turn just click on the url it will redirect you to the main hosted website and once you done with the updates all you have to do just uh, go to 
इलास्टिक बीन स्टॉक डॉक्टर अपलोड एंड डिप्लॉय जस्ट अपलोड योर वर्क फाइल मेक चेंजेस राइट क्लिक ऑन द एप्लीकेशन क्लीन एंड गोल दैट न्यू वर्क फाइल विल बी क्रिएटेड जस्ट हैव टू अपलोड योर दैट्स ऑल ओके थैंक यू फॉर लिसनिंग इफ यू नीड एनी हेल्प इफ यू वॉन्ट टू आस्क एनी थिंग प्लीज फील फ्री टू आस्क आई वुड लव टू हेल्प यू इफ यू वॉन्ट एनी हेल्प रिगार्डिंग डेटा बेस कनेक्टिविटी प्लीज है let me know in the comment section thank you